Hi, it's Sam from Green Shorts. Today I want to show you how I harvest castings from my flow-through worm composter. And I'm going to address a problem that I ran into as I've operated it over the last few months. Stay tuned. Welcome back subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the green shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen throughout the video. Temperatures are really dropping here as we enter December in Georgia. It's actually been warmer a lot longer than normal. But as winter is setting in, I've moved my worm composters, the flow through, and the standard two bin system into the garage for the winter. So far, I'm extremely pleased with the flow-through worm composter. There is robust worm activity in the top layers of compost. But only the occasional worm that comes out the bottom. I wanted to show you a few simple modifications I made to the flow-through worm composter now that I've been operating it for a few months. One mod was adding a few extra screws to the seam along the taper. This helped prevent soil from falling out along the seam. Another problem I've run into is the effectiveness of the harvesting rake. I got a comment from a viewer about the stickiness of the castings. And she commented that they might not flow down as quickly as anticipated. I've seen this to be true, as the rake just doesn't release enough castings as I use it to harvest. To remedy this problem, I'm creating another device for harvesting. It will resemble a large fork, and I'll make it out of wood using the dimensions from the rake. I've got my twisted sharpie from fellow YouTuber Greg Porter. I'm marking the location of the last time to set the width. I'm cutting a couple of inches off the end of the board to avoid a large knot. I'm marking at half inch intervals from the last time. And then I widen each mark to accommodate the width of the trimmer line. I'll extend the width line seven inches to set the length of the fork. And then a depth line at six inches where I'll stop the table saw cut. I rough out a handle to determine the final length. I cut the length before heading to the table saw. At the table saw I set the fence and rip to width. I jumped the gun and cut a few tines before I remembered that the taper needs to be cut first. I finish the taper with my hand saw. My table saw blade is a little dull and it left burn marks on the taper. No biggie. Back to the table saw to cut tines. The gaps are about two blade curves wide. This is not perfect. It isn't even pretty, but I think it's gonna function well. To harvest castings with the fork, I'll insert the tines between the trimmer lines at a steep angle, and then tilt down.
Once the castings are loosened, I'll follow with the rake. I'll repeat the fork harvest from the other side. That's more like it. Nice rich castings. No worms. Now that we've created an air gap above the trimmer line, the castings will have room to flow down. So it turns out that harvesting castings from my flow through worm bin requires a fork and a rake. Let me know in the comments below if you've made this flow through worm composter and if you have any questions. As always, our mission here at Green Schwartz is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new DIY video every Friday.